Hey, what's up guys? Good afternoon. Good afternoon and welcome to another stream. We're going up in the uh, HM Coast Guard Leonardo 139 from Inverness in Scotland. We're actually being scrambled to a hill walker that's collapsed out to the west of Scotland. It's actually a 34 nautical mile flight out towards the northwest from Inverness. We're going to be rooting out via, I think we're just going direct actually, we're going to be scrambling towards there direct. I'll show you on the nav map where we're going here. So you can see that we are have the aircraft located at Regmore, at the hospital here in Inverness. So we're going to be heading out, it's a 34 nautical mile flight to search in this vicinity for a hill walker that's collapsed. So we have a rough idea of where this guy's going to be, unfortunately the information that we have is only accurate to within five kilometers of where the last the, the the last time they were seen so these guys can be anywhere within a five kilometer radius of that marker there so it's quite a big search area that we have luckily we've got just the aircraft to be able to do the job so what it is we're looking at is an elderly man has collapsed while hill walking with his son and urgently needs to be airlifted to the hospital Ground paramedics are unable to reach the patient quickly enough and they are counting on us to be able to find him before it's too late. We are looking for two men. One of them's in a high-vis orange jacket and the other one's wearing a green jacket. The casualty is breathing but unconscious. We need to hurry and find them as soon as possible before his condition gets worse. The calling party was in a panic and only gave us a rough estimate for the position. So we know that that position that we've got is only accurate to within about five kilometers. So uh, this might take a while to fight these guys, but we'll, we'll, we'll try and do a good job. We'll see how it goes. I just need to get some flight planning tools sorted out on um, a different screen here. Folks, just bear with me. Pop that out. And we are getting ready to go. Unfortunately, there's no ATC. Not really too surprising. There's not a great deal of ATC in Scotland on that sim these days, but... We'll see what happens. We are on the VATSIM network, so we'll see if anybody comes on. Scottish Control may, would maybe come on. We'll see what happens. All right, let's get on board the aircraft here. Close my door. I hate trying to reach these doors. Come on, Lou, help me out. Thank you. You can actually do it from the outside, which is pretty handy. I can grab this handle. Oh, I did open it from the outside last time. Oh, no, it doesn't look like I can close it. I'll work that out at some point. Alright, lean all the way over. Come on, give me the handle. Oh, why did that one open again? Uh, oh, that, maybe that's why. Oh, this was a nightmare. I shouldn't have opened these doors at the start of the stream, guys. <laughs> Come on, man. Is this, am I still linked to this one? This one's opened as well. Why is this poor guy's doors? Close. I command close. God damn it. This guy's going to die because we can't even close the doors and get off the ground. <laughs> Come on, bro. We've got an old man to save. Get this door closed. Let's get moving. Lives on the line. All right. Main battery, main bus. Checked on. We'll take the uh, anti-collision and the strobe on as well. Check that the controls are locked. We'll take the force trim on, collective trim as well. We'll check that that's bound to that switch, and it is. Um, all right. We'll release the rotor brake. Hey, Clorox, welcome back, my friend. Good to see you on YouTube, brother. Welcome. Oh, we get the uh, throttles to flight. Checked. All right, we'll clear that. Out of date message. Checked. Radio's up. 7,000 squawk set. All right, we'll open the fuel valve for engine one and turn on the fuel pump and take the engine. Check on the left. Are we good? And the right. We're good. And we'll take the engine mode switch to idle for engine one.
Alright, engine one should stable 55 NG, and it is. We'll go for flight on one. And we'll open the fuel valve for engine two. Turn the fuel pump on for engine two. Hey, Grandad, welcome on board, sir. Start for two. Two's coming up. We're looking for fifty five. We have it. Hey, big sneezy's in the house. Good to see you, brother. All right, guys, welcome on board. We are scrambling out to the west of Scotland. I'll show you where we're going. We're going to look for an um, an old man that's collapsed while hell walking with his son. And it's just in this local area here. So we know his last position within five kilometers is somewhere here. So we're at Inverness right now in Rescue 177. We're going to be lifting from Inverness and heading about 290 for 34 miles to try and find this uh, elderly man that's collapsed. So we're looking for two guys. Let's have a quick look. I think, yeah, they're wearing high vis clothing. One of them's wearing a high vis orange jacket, and the other one's wearing a green jacket. So this might take a while. We don't have any infrared cameras or anything. All right, let's get moving. Let's get moving, guys. Clear on the right, clear on the left. Flight, 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 and flight. Oh, right, well, unlock. Alright, collector's coming up, nose is coming up. Right, hold on a second. Get a PO heat on before I go. Alright, here we go. The wind is calm. From no particular direction. Nose up. Right wheel up first. Stabilize. Hey After Sky, welcome along. What's up, Vasek? Well, ah, that's sort of coming from this side. Alright, power's good. Aircraft feels good. Let's go. Gear's coming up. Hey Marty, welcome. Marty's still watching Razor this stream. <laughs> Alright, we are through ETL rotor speed back to 100%. We're looking for 2, 9, or 0. 
we are flying away. Welcome old Charlie. Hey, Rory's back. All right, departing North Inverness now. Hey Alexander, welcome. It's going very well, thank you. We just took off from Inverness. We're heading 34 miles out to the northwest. We are looking for two hill walkers. An elderly man's collapsed while hill walking with his son. So we're heading out on a search and rescue mission. This is a little bit different from what we normally do on the stream. We're normally doing the air ambulance where we know where the incident location is and we, we land next to the incident and pick the patient up and get them to hospital. This is a little bit different. We're actually doing a search and rescue mission. We don't have an exact location of where the patient is. So we have to fly out and actually find them. We have a rough idea of where they are within five kilometers. Yeah, Alexander, it's a beast. It's an absolutely beautiful machine. And also I'm flying with the full Orbix scenery as well up here in Scotland. This is the full Payware Orbix setup. So the scenery is fantastic. It's almost like flying for the real thing sometimes. It's incredible. Tailheart says, one expensive trip walking around and getting lost. Ah, it's free in the UK, bro. We'll come and find you for free. But yeah, I suppose some, it's expensive for someone. I mean, look at the scenery, guys. Look at those goddamn graphics.
Alright, we're going to have a little bit of low level fun since we're in the Coast Guard helicopter. We're actually cleared down below 500 feet low level. So we might as well take advantage of that. Keep your eyes peeled for power lines, guys. I see some on the right hand side. Weather looks good up ahead. The wind is only four knots, from, just slightly from the right hand side. Swirling around these hills a little bit. Thank God that noise isn't annoying. Jesus Christ. That scares the life out of you. <laughs> right, I see some um, power lines up ahead. That's definitely a bug. <laughs> Hey, Scottish Chewy, what's up my friends, what's up Mav, where are we flying about? We just took off from Inverness, dude. We're heading west out of Inverness, I'll show you where we're, you can see the map slightly there. So we're heading out towards Loch Fanage. I need to be very careful when I say that. <laughs> it's not far, we just passed about halfway, we've got about 15 miles to go, we're just having a little bit of low level fun on the way out here. We're looking for, we're doing a search and rescue operation, we're actually looking for the models of two two men that are lost. One of them's collapsed. We have 64 minutes to find them, which is just as well because we don't have an, a precise location for them. We've got their last known position, which is accurate to within five kilometers. So it might take a while to find these guys. Trey says, I do seem to name some locks oddly. Might see you up there then. Going to do some touch and goes at Kin Loss. Nice one, man. We're actually taking this casualty to Oban. They're going to the hospital. Well, there's an, am uh, an ambulance going to be waiting for us at Oban. So once we find these guys, we're going to be flying to the southwest and landing at the uh, airfield at Oban. Uh, Plockton, sorry, not Oban. We're going to Plockton.
Pick up the plucked and massive. <laughs> Shut up. Wish I knew what circuit breaker that was. All right, where we are heading to, I'll show you guys. So there's Log Fanish up there. The last known position for these guys is up here. Make sure I'm not going to crash. Um, sorry, no, it's a bit more... Probably about in this area here. So we don't have far to go, so we're looking for these guys somewhere around here. Check the horn. Hot diggity dog, look at those graphics. Alright, we're arriving on scene. We have 59 minutes to find these guys. Well, we're almost on scene. Yeah, we over this little, uh, these two little locks here, and down in the left here. Straight ahead and then left. Down in this little glen down here. Their last known position. Rory, I am going to move to Flight Sim 2020 once some helicopters in Concord come out. I'll start flying it. Did you see the Scottish Air Ambulance new 135 up at Aberdeen did a photo shoot with their Perth based one, Rotor Wash? Uh, had to be a fall into a puddle. Such a nice helicopter though. I love the 135, dude. I did see a YouTube video that they, they got a new helicopter recently. I don't really like the SCA paint scheme. I don't think it looks that great. But it's a great looking helicopter regardless. Right. Right, their last known position was in this glen, just up ahead on the right hand side, still got a couple of miles to go. So we'll fly over their last known position and we'll start from there.
In real life, they would be using infrared cameras and all sorts of sensors to find these guys. We've just got the Mark 1 eyeball, I'm afraid. Makes that a bit more challenging. Alright, see just past this little lock here, this little puddle? This is their last known position up here. So we're looking for two men. One of them's wearing a high-vis orange jacket. The other one's wearing a green jacket. So they were last seen just up ahead. Around about here. And they could be anywhere within a three mile radius of here. So we've got a lot to cover. Three and a half miles. This could take a while. Hey Svati, welcome back in Juan Batista, welcome back guys. Yeah, this could definitely take a while. Oh, wait a minute. No. Oh, that would have been lucky. We have 54 minutes to find them. What I'm doing at the moment, I'm just sort of loosely flying around quite quickly to see, because we might get lucky, we might get lucky and just spot them before I start getting a bit more slow and a bit more methodical, just having a bit of a quick look around the place. Luckily there's not a lot of trees or anything around here that's going to obscure them. So you'd think it would be quite easy to find two guys in this sort of terrain, especially if one of them's wearing a high-vis orange jacket, but... We have done these missions before and sometimes it takes a long time. Sometimes you get really lucky and fly right past them. This is one of the more difficult ones because we're not looking for a tent or a campsite or anything like that. We're legitimately flying around looking for just two people. I've also got it set on the hardest level where the position that we have is the, the like the worst condition that we can get. The accuracy is only within five kilometers, so they can be anywhere within a five kilometer radius of the marker that we have. Which obviously makes our job pretty difficult. Check this little valley here. One 
be great if we could get like you guys in the helicopter as observers. <laughs> like multi crew. Have someone sitting in the left seat looking out the left side. Hey, Merrick's joined us. Welcome, Merrick. Good to see you, boss. Got a bit of a difficult search and rescue mission on here, my friend. Where we are right now is their last known position. Right, up, right below us right now, this is the position that we have on the map. So they can be within about three miles, about five kilometers of this position. I was hoping that because it's such an open area that it was going to be an easy one. Sadly not. Oh, I thought that was them there. Negatory. Ne 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 negatory. 
Negative. God damn it, where are these busters? One of them's got a high vis orange jacket on. It shouldn't be that hard to find. God damn it. We're going to spend about another 10, 15 minutes at most searching visually, and then if we still can't find them, we're going to land and cheat. <laughs> and then we'll use like the external view to see if we can help find them. Ah, uh, maybe setting it to the hardest level was a bad idea.
Merrick says, I finally caved in and bought FS Labs. And you know what the that means? CPDLC. No more Euro control. I don't know what I don't know anything. I don't know what you're talking. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. I spent a lot of time looking to the north, the east, and the west of the last known position. We haven't really scoped out the south, so we're going to head just a little bit east here and then check the south out. If we can't find anything on the south side, then I'm going to land and just use the external view to try and cheat a little bit and have a look around. It's a ATC system to communicate versus well, sorry with A cars. Nice. Yeah, you don't have to actually uh, be on that Euro control frequency anymore. I hear you, brother. I hear you. No more Euro control. Thank God. Hey, Stuart Walker's back. Good to see you, sir. No, we, we can't get him a pop a flare or anything, guys. We can't phone them or anything. We just have a last known position that's accurate to within five kilometers. And that's all we're going off. I came all the way up here, we might as well check the very top. Imagine if they're right up, I, I, I doubt it, but uh, this would be pretty cool if they were right up the very top. A 412 with a camera would be helpful, says Lazy, yeah. Just any type of flur would be really useful. I've been looking a lot at that Bell 412 for X-Plane. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos about it. It looks quite good, but still not sure if I want to get it. I mainly wanted to focus on the European helicopters. It's not that I don't... I don't dislike the American helicopters or anything, but... Ah, maybe the 412 would be a, a good shout for the next one to learn.
Hey, Dusty. Uh, Dusty's asking, could he be in the wooden area? I mean, the answer is yes, but of all the missions that we've done before in the past, they've not been in the wooded areas. They've been out in the open. But that's always like something that's in the back of the mind thinking, shit, what if they're... What if they're in the trees? Which obviously makes our job pretty much impossible. But they shouldn't be. Hey, Bryce has joined us. Good to see you, Bryce. Stuart says it's just been updated for 11.5. And there's some work that's been done on the tail roller for it. What are you talking about, Stuart? Bring us up to speed, goddammit. What are you talking about? Oh, the 412. Ah, oh, nice. Does that have autopilot, Stuart? I'm pretty convinced that they're not up there, up there on that plateau. I'm pretty convinced of that. We are going to land and cheat though, guys. If I was maybe just doing this on my own, I would spend a bit more time looking for them, but I'm, I'm conscious that I am streaming and... <laughs> this isn't exactly quality entertainment. So we're going to come up here, find somewhere flat to land, and then use the external camera to zip around a little bit. I'll also show you my search pattern once we land. Our wind's actually coming from behind me. Ah, oh, shucks, Grandad. Alright, this looks flat enough up here. Gear this down. to show you guys the f sort of search pattern that we did so you can see there that so I mean we covered that area pretty comprehensively we, we maybe sort of didn't I mean this is where all the trees were and stuff like that and lots of trees on this side as well so that's why we didn't really go over there but I suppose you could make an argument for maybe researching this area but we did have a good like look at that area as we came down here but yeah we could we could spend more time searching there oh this is the high plateau that we've all flew over but, um, yeah, I mean, we spent a good bit of time flying all the way over this, but I suppose we could argue for a bit more of a southernly search pattern here if this doesn't work out with the external view, but I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to actually find find them using this uh, 
external view cheat camera. But I have done these rescues before and we, we spent a bit of time trying to search for them and it took a, it took a good while but then we did actually find them. So the thought of actually doing all this and not being able to find them and having to just fly back, I think we, that's actually happened to us at least once. At least once that's happened where we just had to give up. But I suppose that's quite realistic. That's quite realistic, I suppose. Yeah, right up here is where their last known position was. Right, right about here. The scene is the last known look. Well, the scene is a, a mark that basically uh, Mark's asking: uh, Is the scene uh, how accurate is it? That mark is. Um, there can be anywhere within five kilometers of that mark because I've got it set on like the hardest level. So, yeah. What did we say? We wanted to like maybe check over this side. I mean, it should be quite. Oh, holy shit! There they are. There, mother fuck. There they are, right there, guys. Mother fuck. That was quite far away, dude. So where are we? So it's way up over on the other hill where I said we there's there's an argument that could be made for checking over on the other. That's exactly what it turned out to be, guys. Bob Saget. Hey, Richie. Good to see you. So there's the aircraft over there. Guy's like waving at me. Come on, motherfucker, get over here. <laughs> Alright, at least we know that it's definitely working. So, um, yeah, I'd be interested to see on the map just like how far away it was from there. So, when I, I'll, I'll fly over here and land, and then we'll see on the map how close we were. Well, how far away it was on from the scene. Flight, 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 and flight. There they are, there.
patching down. That's a cool screenshot, guys. Tut, tut, touch in there. Can't hear you, fucking buster. Can. N. N. Yes. Well, I'll see where they went on the map. So you can see we spent a lot of time looking in the wrong area. <laughs> Never mind. Lessons learned. Lessons learned. God damn it. Both the patient and the son are on board and are ready to fly. The casualty is not responding and in a serious condition. We need to get him to the hospital as soon as possible. It looks like he's had a massive heart attack. Roger, let's get moving. Flight, 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 flight. We're good. All right, we're on our way to Plockton. We need to get this man in a goddamn hospital. This man needs a doctor. Shoot McTurn. Hit that like button if you're enjoying the stream, guys. Really helps me out. Hey, what's up, War Hamster? What's Betty going on? Ah, oh, Betty's always bitching, bro. Old Betsy. Hey, Philip Williams says, lovely scenery. You're goddamn right, sir. It's very good. It's the Orbix Payware scenery. It's awesome.
engine on fire or practice for the red arrow, says Mark. Neither, my friend. It's just a very bad uh, vapor effect that for some reason the development team decided to put on the aircraft. It doesn't look very good at all. Hey, if welcome. Mark says, come on, Stoke. Are you come on, Stoke, on Twitch, or are you just generally getting that out there into the world? Do you want to just get come on, Stoke, out there? <laughs> You are, come on, Stoke from Twitch. Good to see you, sir. Welcome. Welcome to the YouTube side of the operation. Hit that like and subscribe button, fam. <laughs> It has indeed, young man. I hope you're well. Sure says, I think the effect was made worse by laminar using the new shaders. Yeah, it'd be nice if we could just turn it off. I don't really need any vapor effects in a helicopter, thank you very much. It's not that essential. Well, we're heading out into the Jurassic Coast here. Heading for Plockton, not far now. Old Plockers. Heading down the old Plockos. Plocky poos. Heading up that hill. It's all downhill from here. Hey, Gasborn's joined us. Good to see you, sir. Sorry, man, I missed that. Welcome, brother. Always a pleasure to have you with us, sir. Welcome on board. We are on our way to Plockton. We've just uh, found an elderly man who collapsed due to a heart attack on the hillside. After an extensive search, we managed to find him. And we're trying to rush him to Plockton. ESAP, god damn it.
Hey, what's up, Tidy Man? Welcome back, sir. Good to see you. Welcome to the YouTube side. Sorry you can't host me over here, brother, but thank you so much for your support. What's up, right? Gorian's in the house. He's a goddamn buster, but we love him. Welcome on board. Alright, old Plocker should be up here. Old Plocky Poos. There it is. Some hand flying action. Alright, wind's coming from behind us at 9 knots. 050 at 9 knots. We're going to start slowing down now. Gear down, please. Okay, rotor speed to 102%, the gear is down. See the helipad. Alright, the nose is in the wind. Touching down. Congratulations, Captain. The doctors say the patient has a great chance of pulling through this ordeal. Thanks to you getting him here so quickly. He's very lucky you were working today and owes you his life. You are goddamn right. Mark says, make him your bitch, Mav. I can't do that, bro. I can't put you out of a job. Come on, that wouldn't be nice. <laughs> All right, guys, we're responding to uh, road traffic collision next. 
So you can see here, we are up in Plockton. The, there's been a road traffic collision down towards Glenfinnan. Yeah, there's Glenfinnan there, so shout out to you Harry Potter fans. In fact, hold on. It's down here somewhere. Shout out to you Harry Potter fans. Uh, we'll see Glenfinnan on the way down there somewhere. And then we're taking them to the hospital at Oban. Hey, Salim, welcome back, my friend. I'm having a fantastic day. Right, Gorian says, watched your Arma AFM video yesterday. Fuck that snatch. Yeah, it's a bit of a mess. It was, I sort of had fun. I sort of had fun. That doesn't really have a hospital, they say, but you know what I mean. We're taking him away in ambulance there. There's going to be an ambulance waiting for the guy there. Right, so a patient is critically wounded after a head-on collision between two cars in the countryside. The patient was in cardiac arrest but has been resuscitated by paramedics and given pre-hospital anaesthetic. They are expecting us as soon as possible to airlift the casualty to the trauma team. Roger that. The one thing I do want to check is the fuel level. Oh, we have loads of fuel. Alright. Right, Orion reckons we should go to New Zealand, bro. I've got the payware scenery for Scotland, though, and the, the scenery here looks amazing. I don't really want to fly anywhere else, if I'm honest. This is some good-looking snatch, bro. This is some good-looking snatch. All right, clear on the left, clear on the right. We are set flight, 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 and flight. Trim, so, um, we centered the nose is Pointing in the wind at 4 knots. We have both controls. Rotor speed to 102%. Nose wheel up. It's just the helicopter rattling, eh? There's a lot of vibrations and um, noises like that in a helicopter. It's a very, very noisy environment sitting inside a helicopter. Alright, it's a 27 nautical mile flight to get to this incident. Shouldn't take us long.
I'm liking this style of flying missions a bit better, guys. Rather than going like all the way from one hospital on a long flight and then coming back to the same hospital, we'll sort of do some like hospital hopping or airfield hopping. I'm hoping that we're going to get some more people to help us with the hospital scenery in Scotland for X-Plane so we can land at more hospital helipads. It's a shame that we don't have more ATC on VATSIM for X-Plane as well. Eh, sorry, for Scotland as well. Such a great place to fly, man. So, so beautiful. Ah, uh, Scottish, the... This X... X... X playing with Orbex, like I've got a set up now, dude, looks just as good as 2020. In my opinion, anyway. I've seen a lot of people fly in 2020. It looks good. I mean, look at this. This looks awesome as well. I'm not saying it looks better. It looks fucking awesome. <laughs> Uh, choose currently speaking to East Fortune for information to make some East Fortune scenery for 2020. Nice, that'd be awesome, bro. Make sure you check out charityscenery.co.uk, Chewy. Get yourself on that website and check us out. Hey, riding, welcome, my friend. We're in the Augusta 139. It's a beautiful aircraft. Get over there right now, Chewy, you buster. <laughs> Thanks, brother. The link's in the stream description, guys. Make sure you check it out. CharityScenery.co.uk we're, do we're doing good things. Gladify. Beautificate. Riding says thanks for the shout out. I've been working to have a similar setup and maybe see you, maybe see if a couple of friends of mine can join you in your other game servers later on this year. Awesome, brother! I wish you the best of luck. Gladifying, 
and beautificate. We're, I mean, we're doing good things. We're going to freedify, freedificate. Go, go, get, get, get right in there with the freedification. Hey, thanks for the donation, brother. Have some money left, so it's time to say thank you. Thank you very much, my friend. Smashing Pakistani accent, says Grandad. Hey, Grandad! You are the worst squad I've ever had the misfortune to see. You goddamn buster! Hey Mark, what does that mean bro? What's going on there? Did I delete those files? Can I delete those files? What the fuck is freedification? That's, a, that's classified bro. That's classified. That's what that is. That's what freedification is. Freedification is classified. Fucking buster. You're too young to get the joke, Mark. Goddamn millennial busters. Chewie says you definitely get Edinburgh Royal Infirmary so you're going to go. I'm hoping that my, my main man Crash Bandicoot, who's been very, very generous, he's um, maybe going to be working with us at the Charity Scenery Project. But he's he actually done the Glasgow heliport that we're going to be landing at. Not the Glasgow heliport, sorry. He done the Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Glasgow that we're going to be landing at later on. It's very well done. I have tried the EC-135 for X-Plane Scottish Chewy. I wasn't impressed with it. The flight model was garbage. I really didn't like it. Yeah, guys, if you're enjoying the stream, hit that like button, really helps me out. Click that goddamn like button, you bastard. Sure, says Mav, the old pilot is bugged to hell. I can get it to work, but it breaks easily. You need to map buttons for the X rotors, AP controls. To get the flight director needles up, bro. Le legitimately, that was the next thing I was going to try. Because I was reading in the manual and it was saying about how the flight directors have to be on. Thank you very much, Stuart. I'm going to look into that later on today, brother. We'll get there together, bro. Together to the top, God damn it. Hey, Stuart. Good work, squad. Thanks, champ. Alright, this incident should be just down here. Let's keep our eyes peeled, guys. Train professionals. There's a road just down here. Hitting up that road snatch. Not down there. Down here. 
So over this next glen. Fucking beautiful down here, guys. Absolutely beautiful. Hey, you shut up, Grandad! Fucking buster! Fucking incriminating me on the internet. How dare you, sir? How dare you give away my secrets? What do you think? Is this a game? Stuart, can I delete those wing vortex files? Why do you just randomly type that in, bro? You just need to edit it. What are you talking about, dude? Talk to me. I'll have a look and I'll let you know on Discord. Thanks. By the way, I'm 51. <laughs> Roger that, young man. I'm 36. Respect to the elders. Wait a minute. Is that right? Oh! Oh, shit. Rapidly heading towards a fucking holy shit, bro. This could be bad. I got it, I got it. Oh no, it's happening again. Alright, the gear is down, rotor ro ro speed to 102%. We'll have a quick flyby here, have a look at this. Doesn't look like there's any trees or anything in the way. Looks like the it's all on a side of a hill. This is the only bad thing about the Orbex, is the roads look fucking terrible. Should be enough room to turn around here. Wind's coming from the left hand side. Alright, where's flat that I can land here? Maybe just on this bit here should be close enough. Alright, I want to come forward a little bit, get on the other side of the stream. Alright, the nose is going to be up high, we're anticipating that, we'll just try and get the main gear down first before the nose gear, that would be helpful. Well, we're in ground effect now. Try to get our left gear down. Try and, try and, alright it's down. Get the right one down now. Feels good. Wait till you see what the aircraft looks like.
All right, patience on board. Because we've landed the helicopter like on too steep a bit of a terrain. They were getting minus points on the comfort score, but that's okay. I just wanted to get as close as we could. All right, both engines are up. Rotor speed to 102%. We're going to be very careful we don't slap the nose off the ground and we don't slap the main rotor off the ground as well. Because the, the nose wheel is going to stay on the ground and the, the main gear is going to come up. All right, here we go. Alright, power's good. Let's go back. All right, we're heading south for Oban. There's an ambulance waiting for us at the airport at Oban, so we're going to try and get there as fast as we can. And then the ambulance is going to take the patient to the emergency room at Oban. Hey, Virtual Aviator, good to see you, dude. Yeah, sadly, we don't have a winch, I'm afraid. The aircraft obviously does have in real life, but sadly not an X-plane. That's why I'm looking to the forward to the Bell 412. The 412 actually has a, a, an operating winch. So that'd be quite cool. Hey, Agent Orange is back. Good to see you, sir. Welcome. Um, Rigorian is asking which, if someone making hospitals, which one would you like to see first? Someone, I think people are already looking at doing the Edinburgh Hospital. I know my main man Ekipus was looking at that. But we just need really all the hospital landing pads in Scotland researched and created. So, uh, Edinburgh, Dundee, Aberdeen, uh, we have Inverness. So we have Inverness and Glasgow. We need them for all the rest of the the cities in Scotland that have helipads. Make sure you join the um, Charity Scenery Discord as well, guys. So if you click on the stream description and go to charityscenery.co.uk and then you'll see a link on the website to join the Discord group. You can get in there where we've got some developers in there talking. And we also have bits and bobs talking about what scenery we need and things and 
you can talk to other people that are making sceneries and stuff and swap stories and hints and tips and whatever and so if you're not in the charity scenery.co.uk discord guys get yourself in there Take care, eh? Thanks again for the donation, young man. You have a great day. Just had three Apaches flying over the bridges heading towards Edinburgh. Nice! Holy shit! What? Northbound or southbound? Yeah, it'll be southbound or flying over the bridges towards Edinburgh, south eastbound. That's pretty cool. Terrain, terrain. Pull up. They were at Lookers, so they're either going to the base south of Edinburgh or back to England, I'm presuming. Roger that. Alright, open is just on the other side of the water here, guys. Just over there. Oh, nice! Gaz has actually been in an Apache twice. Great fun, but fell sick as a dog when I got out. That's fucking brilliant, mate.
Can anyone on the chat get me a Met report for Oban, guys? Echo Golf, Echo Oscar. I need a goddamn set rep on the weather, guys. Echo Golf, Echo Oscar. If someone could get me a weather report, please. Echo Golf, Echo Oscar. Hey, what's up, Emmanuel? One day my boss is going to catch me watching your streams at work. <laughs> you stay safe, my friend. Hey, thanks, Chewy. Nine or nine or five. The winds are three four zero at nine knots, and my Gorian's in there as well. Thanks, brother. Why right, there's the airfield. Where's the helipads? There they are, just there. Oh, I'll start slowing down. Okay, the nose is in the wind, power's looking good. LBT. LBT. Touching down. Alright guys, I'm going to just jump up and get a quick break for a couple of minutes. Just going to get away from the PC, stretch my legs for three or four minutes, grab a drink from the kitchen. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys, I'll see you guys in a couple of minutes, three or four minutes, maybe even five minutes guys, I might never come back. I'll see you in a little minute. CharityScenery.co.uk, you fucking bastard.
Alright, I am back. Let's get our next mission, guys, and head down to Glasgow. And then we'll be stopping for some lunch. Nice job. The trauma team said the patient has a great chance of making it since you got them here so quickly. Great work. You're goddamn right. So we want this one, it's going to be X-ray, Echo Golf, zero, four, double, three. Oh, I got it, bro, I got it! Fucking hell. Oh, I see what it is. It is at Loch Gilped. Nice. Near Port Anne, actually. So I'll show you on the map. So we're here up at Oban. The incident that we're responding to is down at Loch Gilped, which is not the right place. Yeah. Loch Gilped. There's Loch Gilped there. It's just around here. The accent's on this road here, the, the road that goes into Port Anne. So we are responding to a heavy goods vehicle has hit a car head on, killing the driver and front passenger. However, one passenger remains trapped in the rear of the vehicle. Firefighters are on scene and preparing to cut her out of the car in the next 10 minutes. The on scene paramedic suspects the casualty has severe internal injuries and requires her to be airlifted to hospital as soon as she is out and sedated. Roger, so we're picking this lady up out of, once she's been cut out of this car and then we're going to be taking her to the hospital at Glasgow. We're going to be landing on the Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Glasgow on the uh, scenery that Crash Bandicoot made for us. So it's not too far, it is a, let's have a look here, a 26 nautical mile flight to the incident and then a 36 nautical mile flight to the hospital. So let's get ready to go. It sounds like she's still in the car at the moment, getting ready to be cut out, so we don't have to lift right now. I'm going to just get myself comfortable with her. Make sure that, in fact, I didn't bring my glass of water through. Hold on, I'll be back in a sec. Well, I'm saying it. Track IR back on. Okay. Alright, engine one back to idle. Eh, sorry, back to flight. But that's one thing I wanted to quickly check the um, the flight director switch. Let's have a look and see if we can find that. Toggle the first thrust. FD standby. X rules command. F. FD standby. There's two for FD standby. Why do we have two options? Standby toggle. And flight director standby. It must be this one then. Apply standby. Where is that switch? I don't know if it's on or off.
Eh, I'll work it out later. Alright, the wind's four knots off the nose, should be nine knots once we get in there. Rotor speed's in fact we don't need. Ah yeah, we'll take it anyway. This will be a cat B departure, we'll go straight forward. We'll get the nose up. We'll take the right wheel up first. Stabilising the ground effect. Hey Marty, yeah we took off from Rakemore Hospital at the start of the stream bro. You can go back and watch it if you want. We actually started the stream at the helipad at Rakemore Hospital. Virtual Aviator, not yet dude, I'm still working on it. We're still trying to get, I'm trying to get the flight director to work, hold on. Let's switch this fuck all. Sorry guys, hold on, just bear with me one sec. Try this one. Oh, it has to be that other one then. Because this one's not doing anything. That's the only option I've got. Force trim toggle, I've got all that. This is clicking something. But I'm not getting any flight director needles up on my PFD. AP1 and 2 is on ATT. We can go with SAS. Oh wait a minute, what's that? That's going to be SAS. I think there's also bugs with X-Plane where if I, if I load into a different aircraft first and then load the AW139, like I might not get this problem. Stuff like that. But yeah, so far we, we haven't been able to get the goddamn autopilot to work, guys. Yeah, the SAS should disengage and go into ATT. But I've tried it in both. I've tried it in both for Aviator. SAS is the hands on mode. ATT is the. Heading. CPL. Well, it doesn't follow. What does that turn off? I don't press that and it right so hold on. ATT press that first. I'll press them both. <coughs> Fuck knows. Uh, 
Is there a sass button on the side click? FD standby and sass release. I've got sass release bound, I think, though. Is it? Oh, is that? That's four strong. Shit, that was really bad. FD standby. How did I get FD on? Oh shit! Fuck it out. I had to, I had a, a mix of four trims on there. <laughs> what about Sash release and then hit the AP button? AP 1 and 2 are off now though. The thing is, Virtual Avian, I spoke to people who know how to get the old pilot to work and they've talked me through it and the same steps still work, so I'm sure it's bugged rather than there's a step that I'm missing or something like that. Getting a bit too frustrated just to start pressing random buttons. It's a goddamn pain in the ass. Have you flown this before, Virtual Avia? It ain't no game. Got it last night, Roger. I don't know what SAS release does. Obviously I know what it fucking... I know that it releases the SAS, the stability augmentation system. But I don't know what, I don't know what it does, so I mean I don't... I don't really know, I know how to fly the aircraft, I don't really know how to operate it just yet though. Still really struggling with how to get the flight director needles on. 
I don't understand how I can't get the fucking needles on the PFD. Frustrating. I got it working when I released SAS and hit the couple AP button. Do you have both force trims on? Do you have collective and pitch force trim on? SAS release. Couple. Heading. No, it's not turning. Mines doesn't work, dude. I'm going to try it later on, ah, like I'm going to load into the Gazelle first and then load up this aircraft and see if that makes any difference. Alright, this accident should be not far in front of us now. This road in front of us, this yellow road, we're going to follow that to the south, it's on that road somewhere. Alright, there's the road. There's the accident there, I see flashing lights. The wind is uh, 7 knots from 070. We're going to go around this hill and come up the road and land with the wind on our right hand side. Gear down. speed to 102 percent Oh, this is the best we can do with the wind. The wind's seven knots, just from the slightly from the right hand side. Anywhere here.
We have the patient sedated and ready to fly. She is banged up very badly indeed and needs to make it to the waiting trauma team as fast as you can get her there. Roger that. Alright, we have a 36 nautical mile flight bearing 109 to get to the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. Well, let's go for a flight on one. Flight on two. Alright, it's going to be a Category Alpha departure. We're going to come uh, rearwards and up. We're going to be departing to the right 110 towards the Greenock VRP. Alright, clearing the left door shut, clear on the right door shut. Flight are selected on both ETL and we'll go flight and flight up on the engine mode switches. Uh, rotor speed to 102%. Wind's coming uh, seven knots slightly from the right hand side. Nose up. The main gear off the ground and stabilize. All right, the gear can come up now. And the rotor speed's back to 100%. We are Glasgow bound. Grandad saying, looking good with the new paint jobs. Yeah, the guy's done a great job at reskinning the ambulances and the fire engines and the police vehicles and everything. They look great, look absolutely fantastic. I'm so pleased with this mod and how it turned out.
Thanks, Granddad. A labor of love. Hi, Bob. Hey, Polacco, welcome. Alright, we're just coming up to Danun. Danun's coming up on the right hand side of the aircraft here, and we're going to make the cross over the water to Greenock and Port Glasgow, heading towards the uh, hospital at Glasgow itself. Heading up that West Coast snatch. Hope you guys are enjoying the stream. Good little trip around Scotland. We took off from Inverness, came down the west coast. Nice little flight. Heading up the hill up on the 212. Danoon.
Okay, this is Greenock. Well, this is Gurek, sorry. We're coming then we're coming to Greenock and then Port Glasgow. The police car, look. Look at him go. Okay, we're coming up to the Dunbarton VRP now. It's on our left-hand side. We're passing the Dunbarton Rock shortly. That's it there, actually, just in the 11 o'clock. This is where all the UK submarines come in and out of this lane here. Well, that's not exactly true. They're, they're a bit farther back up there at Faz Lane. They don't really come down here. Hey, Clario's joined us. Welcome, my man. We're on our way back to... Well, we're on our way to the Glasgow Hospital right now. We have a casualty in the back who was involved in a... an incident with a heavy goods vehicle on the west coast of Scotland. So, we actually came down from Oban. We took off from Inverness, flew to Plockton, then Plockton to Oban. So, we took off from Oban, picked this casualty up, and now we're taking a casualty to the hospital at Glasgow. There's no ATC on, so we're just going to go direct for the hospital now.
Come to Glasgow Airport here. There's no one coming into land and there's no one on the ground. It's time to bust this hour, guys. <laughs> Sorry, Goose, but it's time to buzz the tower. Hospital's coming up in front of us, going to start slowing down now. Gear is down. We're below 90 knots. We'll take the rotor RPM to 102%. That's the hospital building right in front of us there. Wind is 13 knots from 050, so I'm just positioning a little bit to the right. Gears down, rotor RPM has been selected, good visibility on the pad. Start working the nose on the wind. Alright, nose is in the wind, we'll keep this forward train coming. Touching down. Top, top, touching down. Another one delivered. Great work. The trauma team will take care of the patient from here. Roger that. Alright, Glasgow Heliport's just over the other side here.
No, Eric. Sorry, my name. My name's not Michael Jackson, son. I don't play with kids. Sorry. <laughs> Touching down. All right, road break is on. Let's get out. Awesome. Nice. That was a great stream, guys. I really enjoyed that. That was a good one. I'm going to take a break and uh, grab some food. We got grab some brunch. I am absolutely starving, so I'm looking forward to going and get that. Not sure what the program is for the rest of the day, guys, but if I do fly, I will definitely stream. So I will see you guys for the next one. Thanks for watching Top Gun and Volleyball. Thanks again to Eve for the donation. I'll catch you guys for the next stream. Maverick out. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not Scott Manley, goddammit. Fly safe.